let's start it off here. This is the Tellwell distribution webinar. Welcome. So now you're probably watching this because your book is almost published. It may have just been published. It may be coming up in a week or so or a month. Um, and often the sort of biggest question on people's minds is like, when, where can people actually buy my book? And so distribution is what leads, it's, it's the process, the, the companies, the systems that are working together to bring your book to the public. So this webinar is going to help you as the understand, you as the author understand this process of distribution and what to expect in the periods leading up to during and following the publication of your book. So we're going to cover today, I'm just going to swap this around and make the slide deck a bit bigger for you. So today we're going to cover where to buy your book online. What on earth are distribution channels? We're going to talk about print on demand versus ebooks and even audiobooks as well. Timelines, like when is that book going to be out there? Um, we're going to talk a little bit for uh, Canadian retailers in particular. I know we have a few Canadians on the call today. Um, we're going to talk about what managed distribution means a little bit here at Tellwell. And we're going to talk about getting paid, right? That's a fun part, book sales and royalties. Ordering books, how you can order books yourself as the author and get maybe some books to sell on consignment. And then, of course, the live Q&A at the end, as I mentioned. Um, so, yeah, let's dive right into it here. Talk a little bit about the key takeaways, right? So distribution, once again, this is the companies, the processes, everything that's in place that makes it possible for people all over the world to buy your book. So we're going to set your book up for print on demand distribution. So we're going to talk about what print on demand is, and that means no print inventory necessary. Um, and we're also offering ebook and audiobook distribution. So that helps you reach the widest possible audience within the world of independent publishing. So we're going to talk about what that means. Retailers, we're going to talk a lot about retailers and retail availability of your book. That's what really matters, right? How do people buy your book? And each retailer individually ends up having the ultimate control of how your book listing is displayed. So we're going to talk a little bit about what that means. It's not always a good thing, but there's, um, yeah, there's just lots of ins and outs of what happens when different retailers list your book, because there's so many of them out there, right? Um, speaking of your audience, it's really important to understand, and I'm, we're going to talk about this now, and we're not going to talk about it too much more throughout the rest of the webinar, but I'm going to talk about this right now, that distribution is not the same as marketing. That's really important, right? Distribution makes it possible for people all over the world to buy your book, but marketing, strong marketing campaigns and strategies, those are what sort of help you cut through the competition and make sure your audience actually knows that your book exists and then they know to buy it if they know it exists. So distribution and marketing aren't really much use without each other. You need both of them. So with Tellwell's managed distribution, we take care of all the nitty gritty details, right? So you can focus on that marketing piece, all those different connecting with influencers, book bloggers, reviewers, media outlets, social media, building an online following, collaborating with authors, all of that are marketing services that we can help you with as well. Tellwell has marketing services to help you with. But that's not what we're focusing on today. We're focusing on that other side, distribution, making your book available. Okay, so let's start with kind of the biggest thing is like, where can people buy my book? And we're going to talk about kind of some best bets for based on what country you're looking to sell the book in, what the best online retailers are to direct people to. So once your book is published, you can quickly find links most of the links anyway, to where your book is published online or some, some major ones anyways, um, by following the online listings tab on your Octavo homepage. So you just log into that portal.tellwell.ca Octavo homepage, click the online listings tab, and that's gonna show you some links to, to your book. Then you can also go to all these retailers that we're talking about in just a second that you see up on the screen. You can go to those sites uh, directly and just search for your book title and author name. So my book by Simon Page is what I would look for. Um, and you 
just a note that all of these websites are listing thousands, if not millions of books, right? And other products, hey, Amazon, they sell everything, right? So searching your keywords or categories on a website may work if they are unique, but um, searching by the title and author name is definitely the quickest way to find your book. So when it comes to marketing your book, you're definitely going to want to be sharing direct links to that book listing on Amazon, on chapters, on book depository. So as promised, let's talk about best bets for buying your book in different countries. Okay. So we'll go alphabetically here. So Australia, amazon.com.au and bookdepository.com tend to be the best bets to get your book at or near the suggested retail price. Uh, I know Dimix, Booktopia, those are a couple of major ones in Australia as well, and they do tend to list all of our titles. However, at, they usually really inflate that suggested retail price. That's a retailer's right to do that. So we just probably you're going to steer people away from those sites and just steer them towards Amazon Book Depository instead. And there's always others that are popping up as well. Canada, this is not an exhaustive list, by the way. Canada. Um, you're going to look at amazon.ca, chapters.indigo.ca, and bookdepository.com. There are different little caveats with amazon.ca and chapters um, as well, and we're going to talk about those uh, later on. Okay, so just note the red asterisks there and um, keep your ears perked for when we chat about that more soon. Okay, so USA, 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 that's a big country. That's 10 times more people than we have up here in Canada. So that's the one kind of with the most robust and well-oiled distribution machine. You can go amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com is another one, bookdepository.com, bookshop.org. That's kind of a neat one that supports independent booksellers. So, and many more as well in the US. Um, and uh, note that Barnes and Noble and Book Depository are two good options, international um, plus Amazon.com. So anywhere in the world, each of those three retailers will ship to. Bookdepository.com tends to be the most reliable because they have free shipping. They inflate the retail price a little bit, but um, it makes it worthwhile usually for, you know, if you have somebody in in the old country, um, usually they can get the book from Book Depository. But you also want to keep in mind that the distributor is like an American company, so um, or North American or based out of UK. So it's like Western civilization pricing, right? So not everywhere in the world may be able to like necessarily afford the book because the sort of fixed costs um, are a little bit, you know, they're based for like more developed nations, for example. Okay, so. Uh, that's international, that's print. Let's talk a little bit about digital, okay? So if your publishing package does include ebook distribution, we can make your book available through Kindle, Kobo, or Smashwords. Those are the three that we use. So Kindle is for Amazon and the Kindle app. That's kind of the main one, right, worldwide. Kobo, um, that makes your ebook available through Chapters Indigo and an ever-growing number of retailers because they're owned by Rakuten, which is a pretty big and growing company as well. Um, and the Kobo app, that's a pretty popular one in Canada. And then Smashwords is uh, kind of a neat one. And they they aggregate to lots of different places as well as like library apps like Overdrive um, and also Scribd. Um, but the biggest one for Smashwords usually is Apple Books, formerly known as iTunes. So if you want to get your ebook on the Apple Bookstore, you got to have Smashwords. Um, so we also do audiobooks. Um, we'll chat a little bit more about audiobooks later. That's a relatively new offering here at Tellwell. Super exciting. Um, and through our audiobook distribution hits Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. Okay, hey, drop me a little thumbs up emoji if you've ever bought a book from any of those retailers before. Um, maybe a like shrug emoji if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Drop me a little emoji. Let me know you hear, hear what I'm saying. Um, so if you're... So let's move on now to Tellwell Managed Distribution. So um, there will be a step. Uh, you may have already passed this step. You may not have, um, where you're choosing your distribution model. Um, and managed distribution is the by far the most commonly chosen uh, distribution model we have here. Um, and that means that we are doing all the heavy lifting to make your book available for sale at minimum via Ingram's network of booksellers. Plus, there's also a couple of other distribution channels 
Now we'll talk about in a moment, but Ingram's included by default in all of them. So we take care of all that. We do all the nitty gritty. We do all the heavy lifting. Um, that means you get ongoing print on demand and ebook if applicable order fulfillment whenever the book sells. So you don't have to have a basement full of books. It's just we take care of getting that book up um, on the distributor. They push the book onto different retail sites and people buy the book. You get paid your royalties. Everybody's happy. So we'll consolidate all that royalties and pass it all on to you. Um, and you can also request an annual metadata update to the book's description, pricing, keywords, categories um, afterwards. And we're, we remain available for support as long as the book is published if you have any issues with retail listings. So we get it set up, we pay your royalties, and we're here to help if you need any support. And that's kind of the main tenets of the managed distribution program. So anytime you need uh, help by the way even after your book is published if you have questions you can still hit us at support at tellwell.ca okay so in order to receive ongoing public post pub support right we, we're going to keep your book published sort of indefinitely right so there is uh, an annual fee 75 dollars that does apply so that's less than 10 bucks a month um, and that's what keeps your book distributed and keeps us here to support you and your book's listing. Um, but you can get the first year is free by default. You can get the second year free by sending us our client feedback survey filled in, and you can get another three years free by referring a client to us. So you can get up to five years free. Um, and we do offer two different models under managed distribution, right? So there's probably, you've heard about this through Octavo, but you've got your managed 85 in which you get 85% of your net royalties. And we got our managed 100 in which you retain 100% of the royalties. To get the 100% net royalties, you pay an upfront fee of 500 bucks. And to get the 85% net royalty, there's zero upfront fee, right? So the majority of authors are gonna choose one of those two, managed 85 or 100. Um, it is good to note, you have to know that Tellwell manages your access to your book's distribution listings. You don't get direct access to your distribution accounts. We're here to help if you need to make any changes, but you don't have that direct access because we're managing the accounts. We're taking care of that for you. We do offer a full do-it-yourself option, okay? We do. Um, but uh, you have to correctly set up all the files and metadata with up to four different distribution channels. With that full do-it-yourself option, you also have to liaise directly with distributors' support teams, and that gets you sort of that complete ownership of all your accounts. It's suitable for a very, very, very small percentage of our authors. It's called direct distribution. When making that decision between managed and direct, the vast majority of authors find that the time, effort, risk of error is really important involved with trying to correctly set up files for distribution and fill in forms and kind of navigate the tricky publishing landscape on your own. It's not usually worth that benefit of having that direct control, which most people don't really need anyways. So we don't recommend direct distribution unless you previously distributed a book, you have a high level of technical expertise, but we do offer you that option to do that, which a lot of publishing companies don't, so that's why I kind of mention it, but managed distribution, that's going to be your good one. Uh, that's going to be your go-to. So, hey, let's talk about what on earth are distribution channels, right? Kind of been mentioning distributors, distribution channels. We use this sort of language at Tellwell a lot. So why do we say channels? Um, because those are the channels which all of your book sales are funneled through, right? So your book can appear on like hundreds of or even thousands of different retailers, but they all come from one of four companies. And those are the companies that fulfill the orders and pay out your royalties. And those are the companies that we're setting your book up with, depending on what you have in your package, right? So we were mentioning different ebook sales, right? The Kindle, Kobo, Smashwords. Each of those is a distribution channel, an ebook distribution channel, right? And for print sales, we may, we work with two different distributors. One is Ingram, and they do both paperback and hardcover. And we also work with Kindle Direct Publishing, or KDP, which only does paperback. They have a hardcover service in beta right now, but um, it's got pretty limited applicability right now. We will probably offer that in the future, assuming it 
makes it out of beta before too long. But for right now, Ingram is the only one offering the hardcover. Okay, so the major difference between those two, Ingram and Kindle Direct Publishing, is that uh, Ingram has a worldwide network of printers and they have thousands of retailers that have accounts with them. Um, so they work with all kinds of different retailers. So they're, they're the company that gets your book kind of the widest reach. Kindle Direct Publishing is really just, you know, because so many people buy books on Amazon, that's Amazon's print-on-demand company. They are directly um, integrated with Amazon, and we only use them for Amazon distribution. They have like an expanded option with other retailers, but it's not really very good. So we go with Ingram for that. And then Kindle Direct Publishing is just for Amazon. Okay, so that service is called the Enhanced Amazon Service. It's of most use for Canadian authors. Um, and we're going to talk about it in just a moment. Um, like I mentioned, ebook, you've got those three different channels, KDP, Kobo, Smashwords. It's good to just know these names because they're going to show up on your royalty reporting later. And they also impact what retailers your book ends up being available on. So to find out what editions of your book are available, you just log into Octavo, uh, click the Purchases tab, and uh, you scroll down to Distributions Purchased. So that, that information is available on your home page in Octavo, but you can also just ask your project manager if you're not sure. That's not a problem. Okay, let's go back to talk, talking a little bit more about online retail listings. If you're kind of dozing off right now and you, you know, my, my voice is so soothing and it's calming you down and you feel like you're ready for a nap, wake up. This is a really important part, okay? I really, uh, I want to really hammer that home that this is, this is the part that we really, uh, it's a really important part of the webinar here, okay? So a really important thing to understand is that retailers, you know, you walk into a shoe store, typically the retailer decides how much they sell each shoe for, they decide what shoes they sell, they decide whether which shoes are at the front of the store, which shoes are at the back of the store. So retailers really have the final say on how each book they sell appears to customers, okay? And so listing location on the website, whether the book is in stock, shipping cost, timelines, these are factors that are outside of Tellwell's control. However, what we can help with is we can help point you in the direction of the retailers that do have favorable um, versions of each of these factors, right? So thousands of retailers have access to list your book via Ingram. They're not all great, right? Some are good, some are not that great. Some are just like shady third party sellers on Amazon trying to like sell your book at like 10 times the retail price to like, I don't know where they make their money. I guess they just expect some people are silly and accidentally buy books at the wrong cost. There is a, there's this sort of strange little market for that out there. So we wanna to try to just stay away from that and direct our buyers to the good links that have your book showing the complete listings at a good price and all of that. So if you see a retailer and you don't like the way your book list looks, you can let us know and we can help if we can. We may not be able to help. And if we can't help with that specific retailer, then we'll point you in the direction of a better one, okay? So um, you can start by that online listings tab in Octavo and use that to investigate some of the retailers and see if you like them. You can also search other retailers. Um, and remember, we're here to help. We're here to help point you in the good direction. Um, and as part of the support included in that managed distribution program, we're always happy to investigate if you encounter any issues with your book's listing on any of the expected retailers, right? And I've been mentioning some factors here like price, um, metadata, cate there's categories, keywords, there's your cover image, all of that. So all of that pricing and metadata stuff, that's, that's the metadata is the information that accompanies your book's listing. But people use it to help them make decisions on whether or not they buy a book. We're really not getting into that in this webinar. Um, so, but it, it, they are all very important topics. So there's really important, good resources on pricing and metadata linked in the help pages of the corresponding tasks in Octavo. And your project manager can also help you understand pricing and metadata a little bit better. Um, and they can share those resources with you directly. If some of the stuff I'm talking about isn't making sense to you, um, I can also clarify during the Q&A at the end. Um, and your project manager is also there to help. So 
just want to make sure I made that clear. Okay, let's continue now and let's talk about print on demand, ebooks, and audiobooks. So those are, oh my, those are the three different sort of categories, right? So print on demand, we talked about this earlier. So print on demand means a single copy is printed and then shipped to the customer on demand each time the book is purchased. Um, that means you don't have to invest up front in an inventory of printed books if you don't want to. And um, the way the royalty is calculated for print on demand is you uh, take the suggested retail price that you set, you detract the retailer discount, and then you detract the print on demand cost of your particular book influenced by the size of it, its length, whether it's color or black and white. And the pricing task in Octavo calculates all that for you. So when you're using the pricing task, it'll calculate what um, your royalty is, which is really that number that really matters because the, what you have the power to influence as the author, you get to choose the suggested retail price. You can choose the retailer discount, but you're, you're kind of strong armed into a couple of different options basically. So really the pricing is the one that you have most influence over and even that one is is significantly impacted by the shape and size of your book and the specs right so royalty is a little bit complicated from print on demand but we make it pretty easy in that pricing task in octavo ebooks okay that's a little simpler there's no shipping there's no physical book involved right the purchaser is just downloading the file directly to their device of choice and the author is going to retain 60 to 70 percent of the purchase price as the royalty. Tellwell ebooks are professionally designed to look great on a wide variety of devices and applications but keep in mind the display of your ebook is going to vary depending on the screen size and the platform used by the reader, right? So some people may be reading on a tablet, some on a little phone, some on a laptop even. So the amount of words displayed on each screen size is gonna change uh, based on the size. So that's obviously a little bit of a different experience than reading the print book. So don't be surprised if your ebook looks a little differently than the print book does, that's normal. Audiobooks are professional narrated versions of the book. We have a curated selection of professional narrators that you get to choose from the samples that they send you of your book. And we don't begin the production of the audiobook process until the book's already released in print, which means that if you're interested in audiobook, it starts at around three cents a word. Um, now's a great time to talk to your project manager about adding that. So do give us an email at support at tellwell.ca if you think you may be interested in adding that audiobook piece to your project. Um, the royalty system is a little bit different. Uh, it's the suggested price is set by the distributor with audiobook. You don't actually get to control the price. So I would say the audiobook, it can be a bit tricky to turn a, pro a profit on that. So. It's something that if it's just really exciting to you to have a narrated version of your book and that feels like worth the investment because of how wonderful and kind of a cool accomplishment that is to get your book in audiobook narrated by a professional narrator, then I would say this is an awesome, awesome thing for you to potentially engage in. So let's, with that out of the way, so we talked a little bit about print on demand, we talked about eBooks and audiobooks, those are kind of those three different types of books that we are distributing. Now let's talk about timelines, right? Okay, so this is another kind of big piece. Um, let's look, kind of you might have to squint a little bit, get your face a little closer to the screen. I'll try to walk you through this. We also are going to, we'll send you an email um, when we send your book off to start the distribution process. And that email also uh, outlines this timeline. Um, so the first step, I'm not sure yet if you have, if you haven't yet approved all of your design files, then this timeline hasn't started yet. This timeline starts once you've approved all of your design files. From the moment you've approved all of your design files, then we start creating the final channel files. And once we create those final channel files or print ready files or ebook files, then we go ahead and that takes about one to two weeks. Then we go ahead and upload and approve all of those files along with all your book and metadata in the various distribution channels, depending on which ones are included in your package. So for Ingram, so that's the one included by default, the uh, paperback is then going to be available in another about one week usually is when it starts showing up. 
So that's about four weeks now from the time you approved your original design drafts or just about two weeks after we sent your book to distribution, you start to see the paperback come available and potentially the hardcover as well. It only takes about three days for the ebook as well as the enhanced Amazon paperback to come up online after we finish the distribution. So we're talking around eight business days here. Um, from that time of starting the distribution, you'll see the ebooks up. And if you have enhanced Amazon paperback distribution in your uh, in your package, that's going to come up as well. Um, now, we're going to talk in a minute about some of the sort of issues with Indigo and Amazon.ca. Um, but the, the important thing to know is for the print book, especially in that first couple of weeks, you're going to see some retailer listings incomplete. You're going to see some missing descriptions or cover images. You may see inflated suggested retail pricing on Amazon. Okay, that is normal in the first couple of weeks of distribution. So the right at the very start when your book is published, it doesn't unfortunately just like that get up and perfect in its listing. It takes a little bit of time to work out the kinks, okay? So by the end of six weeks after um, we've published your book, the distribution window is complete, it's called. And at that point, um, we can you can expect to see your book listed on the expected retailer sites that we've talked about in this video. And if any of those expected sites have missing or incomplete listings, we can request a what's called a rebroadcast from the distributor at that time and hopefully fix the issue with you. So we're still with you each step of the way here to help uh, make sure your book looks as good as it possibly can. But just to be aware that there are usually some kinks in the first week or so after distribution, um, especially with Amazon.ca and Chapters Indigo. Chapters Indigo being a retailer that can often be quite slow to list the book in the first place, okay? So let's move on and talk about Canadian retailers here. And just so you, everyone knows, we're at about 30 minutes on the webinar. We're going to keep going for a, a few more minutes here, and then we're going to get into the Q&A. Um, may run a little bit late, but the replay link for this webinar is going to be sent to you by email, so you'll be able to watch it anytime you want. Okay, so Canadian retailers, Amazon.ca, if you don't have enhanced Amazon in your publishing package, orders on Amazon.ca get routed through Amazon's warehouses. Um, and this can result in shipping times of up to one to two months. That's because Ingram doesn't have a printer in Canada and it doesn't work super well with Amazon.ca. The way around this is adding that enhanced Amazon where the book is uh, printed and shipped by Amazon itself through that Kindle Direct Publishing distributor. And that kind of irons out those kinks in the Amazon.ca listing. Regardless of whether or not you have that enhanced Amazon service, um, the book price is um, so may start out as inflated because sometimes third-party resellers are the first to list your book. So this is for all authors, not even just Canadian authors. Often third-party sellers are the first to list the book on Amazon. So those are other um, retailers that have accounts with Ingram who are then taking the book from Ingram and listing it through Amazon as a, as a third party seller. And they usually inflate the price, like I mentioned earlier, and they're often the quickest to get that book up. Okay. And thanks for the question, Julie. I'm going to, I'm going to get to that in the Q and a after. Um, so the book price you see, if you don't have enhanced Amazon is typically the CAD equivalent of the USD price you send you set rather than the CAD price you set. Um, and if you do have the enhanced Amazon service, Amazon.ca paperback is all good. It won't say out of stock. It'll show your suggested retail price and it will be available for fast shipping through Amazon Prime. There is no enhanced Amazon for hardcover just yet, which means Amazon.ca is often not great for hardcover books because um, they have those same issues that we just talked about. So for Canadian authors for the hardcover, usually want to route buyers through book depository or if you follow the instructions on this next, next slide about chapters indigo you can do that hardcover sales through them so the thing about chapters indigo is they require a higher retailer discount to list the book we call this in octavo 
the maximize my distribution option. So choose that option when suggesting setting your suggested retail pricing in Octavo. Okay, that will ensure your book gets up on Indigo. Even if you set it, um, if, even if you set that minimum maximized distribution, it still takes usually around three to four weeks for the book to show up on Indigo after distribution. They're a little slower, unfortunately. So you have to be a bit patient. Um, but we are definitely available to help. And also, if you if you're not sure if you chose that option, just email your project manager. They can get everything ironed out for you to make sure your book gets up on Indigo. Okay, Whew. so um, that's that's a little bit. Uh, those are the kinks, right? Um, now, after the kinks have been worked out and your book is uh, selling, hey, how fun is getting paid, right? We love that. So royalties are paid out quarterly. We pay out book royalties quarterly. That's 45 days after the end of each quarter. That's because that's the schedule we get paid from the distributors. So once we get paid, we got to um, put all of the dollars and cents into our system, quality check it at multiple points, um, compare the original reports with our reports, make sure everything is completely accurate down to the penny. And then we pass along all those royalties to you as the author, um, according to a set schedule. Um, so that we make sure everything is perfectly accurate. So there's a minimum payment threshold of $100 each quarter. Um, and net royalties are determined by the suggested retail price that you choose. The actual price a retailer lists your book at does not affect the royalties. The only thing that affects the royalty is your suggested retail price, okay? And the royalty shown in Octavo is a estimate based on US pricing. Um, but all of the royalties are calculated on suggested retail pricing. Okay. The, so once again, the actual price your book is sold at by a retailer doesn't impact the royalties. Okay. So Canadian authors get paid out by check by default, but we can pay out by PayPal upon request. Authors internationally are paid by PayPal. Um, which you can link directly to your bank account and just transfer the funds right from your PayPal to your bank account without fees. Okay. We also send out reports. We, we report on your sales monthly. So we report sales more frequently than we pay out because we get more frequent reporting. Um, and that's sent 15 or 45 days after the end of each month, depending on the distributor's own schedule on when they release those reports to us. So Ingram and KDP are 15 days after the end of each month, which is nice because they're the most kind of popular ones. Kobo and Smashwords are a little bit slower. To view your sales reports at any time, you can always log into Octavo at portal.tellwell.ca and just click the Royalties tab. Okay, so your Octavo homepage remains there for you to use even after, um, even after your book has been published, okay? All right, let's talk about ordering books, okay? There are two main ways to order printed copies of your book. You can either order them through online retailers, like just like your customers, or you can make a bulk order through Tellwell. Most of our publishing packages come with a book order credit, often around 100 bucks, and so you can get however many books you can for that amount um, just for that credit, or you can use that credit towards a larger order of books um, and most authors do just that 50 or more usually is where you start getting a better price on the book per book cost. And you can use those books for launches, signings, consignment sales. Hey, these, uh, this whole vaccination thing is going down all over the place. So bookshops are opening back up. We're having more and more in-person engagement, which is exciting. Um, and it is exciting for getting your printed books and engaging with your community, which can really be a really exciting thing about writing a book, writing and publishing a book. So if you want to get a quote, you just email support at tellwell.ca, or you can reach our print department directly at printing at tellwell.ca. We have a network of trusted print partners around the world, and they offer consistently high quality printing, and we're proud to work with them to fulfill our author orders. So we've tried out these printers already and we trust them 
and um, they're, you know, it, it's, if you've ever done any research on finding places to get your book printed, there are a whole ton of printers out there and a lot of them are a little bit confusing to navigate. So we kind of take care of all that pre-press process and the proofing and all that. Um, and your print prices are gonna vary based on your book specifications, quantity ordered and shipping address. All right, so up until this point, I just wanna make it clear that we've been talking about online retailers, right? Um, we've been talking about buying your book through websites online. And if you really want to, again, I mentioned engage with your community, get your book shelved on some local bookshops. The best way to do that is to provide the book to local shops on consignment. So that means you order books in bulk and you take those books to a bookstore. The bookstore takes a cut of the profits, usually 45 to 55%. And the details of each consignment agreement are different for each bookstore. You'll need to set a price and make arrangements with each store directly based on the print cost of your particular book. Okay, so consignment locally is kind of the way to go for getting your book on shelves. A lot of people would love to see their book on shelves nationwide, right? That would be a really, really cool thing, right? And, and that can happen if you get some, some a proven record of sales and success uh, and you start to make your name for yourself as an author. But in independent publishing, a lot of authors are just starting out. They may be, you may be just writing your first book. Um, and I mean, for a lot of our authors, like writing a book is like this main, this big thing you've been working towards and you, you've just written one and that was an amazing accomplishment, let alone making a name for yourself and writing dozens of books, um, which is what a lot of the authors, unfortunately, that are listed, that are uh, shelved in bookshops have done, right? They're established authors with traditional publishing agreements um, whose books are printed in mass and stocked across the country. Unfortunately, that's really hard to get into in the independent publishing world, okay? So because books, book shelf space is extremely competitive, so bookstores really need to see a history of high sales, a really strong positive reception of the book, and they're usually going to need to get approached directly by the author um, which isn't necessarily uh, that reason, uh, realistic um, for getting your books shelved nationwide, right? So that's why we talk about that consignment method. Um, you start with a strong online marketing campaign. You take advantage of all those places online where your book is available. And you take advantage of that existing online retail infrastructure, far simpler, lower risk, and you combine that with a local launch and signing strategy where you can get out in your community for what can be one of the most rewarding aspects of the process for many authors. And you don't have to set a big retailer discount of 55% and price your book high and worry about the risk of returns and all that, which is a whole can of worms that, believe me, is not set up to benefit any authors that's set up to protect retailers and distributors, unfortunately. So that is my webinar, our webinar here at Tellwell on the distribution process, okay? I'm so glad everybody joined us. Um, phew, that was like a ton of content. And remember, if you wanna ask your project manager some questions specific to your particular project, you're more than welcome and encouraged to book yourself into their calendar for a consult call to get that clarity that you need. Um, now's the time to drop questions in the questions tab, okay? so. I'm going to stick around for about 15 minutes or however long we need to answer all the questions that we can. Um, and we're going to go through them one by one. So drop your questions in that questions tab, although I see there's a couple in the chat as well, which I'll, I'll address as well. And uh, yeah, just at the top here, let me just make this PDF presentation bigger for a minute here. Um, yeah, we talked about that brick and mortar bookstore. Sorry, I forgot to show that slide. But at the top right of your screen, you can download this PDF if you'd like, okay? And you're gonna be emailed a replay link just as long as just as soon as this session ends, okay? So uh, look out for an email. Um, all right, so Q&A time, right? Let's answer some questions. So Julie, I just looked on Amazon and the books are available in paperback only right now. One available in ebook. How long does it usually take for the books to be available in hardcover? Yeah, perfect. So if you recall from the time of distribution 
you're looking at about one week for distribution and then one to two weeks for the book to start showing up available on retailers. So depending on when your book was first distributed and you, you would have been sent an email at that time, it can take around three weeks until you start to see that hardcover up until a maximum of six weeks. Um, the other possibility is that your book listings on Amazon aren't always linked between ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Sometimes the listings start out as separate. Usually they get merged together, but if they are separate, you can just send us uh, an email. We can try to work that out um, and get all the listings together under one heading. But yeah, you're looking at about probably two to three weeks from the time your job your, or your book was, um, was published. All right. Um, I said job because I just looked at Scott's chat there saying awesome job. So thanks for that, Scott. I really appreciate that. Tariq, how do I know if my book is selling at all? Absolutely. So how you know if your book is selling is when we send those sales reports. So the soonest you'll find out if your book is selling is your first sales report, which is sent 15 days after the end of the month of sales, okay, for books sold through Ingram and KDP. And for books sold uh, through Kobo and Smashwords, it's 45 days after the month of sales. So for example, if your book is distributed in November, the first sales report you will get will be December 15th and any book sold through Ingram, which is going to be any hardcovers and any non-enhanced Amazon paper and well, and any paperbacks, basically all your print books will show up 15 days after the end of each month. So any sales in November will show up on December 15th and you get paid for those ones on February 15th, which is 45 days after the end of that quarter, quarter being every three months, January to March, April to June, etc. All right. Thank you for the great questions. Um, let's go to the questions tab. All right, we got some, four questions here. Awesome. So Tom asks, is book price listed on cover when placing books on consignment? How do you set the retail price? Two great questions. So we don't recommend putting the price on the cover for print on demand because if you want to change the price, that way you don't actually have to pay for a post publication revision. You can just change the price with the distributor directly and it doesn't affect the actual printed book at all. Just all subsequent books are then charged at that new price level you set. So for print on demand online sales, typically the price is not listed on the cover. There will be the odd retailer that will want you to put the price on the cover in order to sell it. It's quite rare, but it does happen. Um, you can either just print some barcode stickers with the price on it if you really needed to, um, but it's it's pretty rare that you need to do that. Um, so typically, no, no price on the cover. And when placing books on consignment, how do you set the retail price? So you're going to set that price based on how much you paid to order those books in the first place and the cut that the retailer is taking. So you need to know if you order 50 books and you pay however much, $10 a book and it costs you $500, then you know you need to factor that $10 per book cost into how much you charge when you set the consignment price. The bookstore is going to, they may suggest a price and it'll be up as you as the author to advocate for the price that's right for you. All right, BB, after my book is in distribution, can I still contact my project manager or should all questions go to support at tellwell.ca? Ah, that's a cool question. Thanks for that question. Support at tellwell.ca is how you reach your project manager. That is always the email address to reach your project manager at. That goes there. However, good quote, but I will say that after your book has been distributed, you don't have a dedicated project manager assigned to your book anymore that your project manager will be working with new projects. Depending on who the best person to answer your question is will be who will get back to you. Um, it may, it often is your project manager that will get back to you. It may be a distribution specialist. It may be a printing specialist. Um, so who gets back to you is going to be based on who's the best person to answer your question. But always, uh, you can always reach out to support at tellwell.ca no matter what. Um, with the minimum payment threshold, if I don't hit the minimum, do the funds just roll over to the next quarter? Yes, we don't just uh, pocket <laughs> the the funds that uh, you didn't hit the threshold with. That would be horrible. Um, we just roll your funds over 
and once you hit $100, we pay it out to you. So, um, and uh, and if you didn't ever hit the threshold, we would just pay out your whatever we owed you when you when you needed it. Um, so after uh, a few quarters or or whatever, but yes, absolutely, um, your funds, any royalty funds, roll over, and we pay them out according to the schedule. And if you ever unpublish your book as well, all of your unearned royalties just get paid out according to the schedule. Books do typically have a, a bit of a lifespan. Sometimes people want to take them down after a while. Um, so we would just pay out any unearned royalties at that point. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your great questions. Ah, can I produce an audiobook myself? So um, good question, Charlene. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, short answer is, yeah, sure, you can. Um, long answer is very exacting audio requirements required. So you have to know how to produce audio files that meet very specific specifications that I don't understand super well. There's noise floors and noise ceilings and decibels and all that good stuff. So if you're like uh, have some experience with audio engineering and you like figuring out how to work, um, you know, distribution uh, platforms, there are places where you can upload your own audiobook files. Um, otherwise, uh, we, if you're working with us, we only work with professional narrators that um, are sort of on our curated list and through the platform that we use. So we don't produce uh, author narrated audiobooks. Um, we only professionally narrate. And that's kind of because of the trickiness of those audio files. We don't want to get ourselves into a situation where we are trying to like help you troubleshoot when we don't ourselves understand how <laughs> the audio files work. We leave that to the professionals, right? Um, and the other piece is that readers actually really want to hear their books narrated by professional voice actors. That's uh, you know something that's coming in in, in your research about uh, reader behaviors that uh, a lot of readers really like to hear their audiobooks read by a voice actor. Um, but the, the main the main sticking point is is getting your files uh, down. All right, thank you so much, Gary, for that uh, for that nice feedback. Um, so I hope everybody has really enjoyed this session. Um, okay, one more question. Great, thanks, Tom, for getting that in. Uh, timeline for ordering our own bulk orders from date of signing off on layout. Ah, great question. So so we'll say date of signing off on layout. So we're going to say from the date that you approve your design files. How soon till you can get books in hand on a bulk order? Well, our print and shipping timeline is um, right now around four to five weeks or four to six weeks. At other non right before Christmas times, um, you'll see orders even as as quick as two weeks and between two and two and two and six weeks. Um, but right now we're we're a little longer. It's like four to six weeks is our is our timeline, um, and. That is going to be from the date we finalize your book files for print, which is one to two weeks after the date you approve your files. So you're looking at five to eight weeks from signing off on layout until you get your bulk order of books. Um, that's uh, sort of the timeline you're looking at. And if you did, I, I know there's an article on CBC recently about print um, supply, um, print supply chains. Um, and uh, it's it's not uh, it's not pretty right now with the price of paper going up and staffing issues and things like that. So um, we probably are going to continue to see print timelines being kind of long for those for those custom orders. Although we're really blessed to work with a couple of really great printers that can that can um, that seem to be rolling with the punches really well. Um, but yeah, there's that standard timeline of about four to six weeks. Um, because printers are booking their equipment weeks in advance um, because they have to do that to keep everything running at a at a high rate and, and keep things profitable for themselves. Otherwise, they'd go out of business, right? Um, all right, so we're going to wrap up here. Last chance, last chance for questions. OK, last chance for questions. Uh, Scott, thanks for your question here. If I land a deal with a traditional publisher down the road, am I able to easily pull my project from tell all distribution for a painless transition? Well, I uh, I imagine it would be pretty painless. I can't guarantee what kind of personal pain you may be going on in your own world. But yeah, absolutely. Um, you own all the content, uh, the copyright 
um, of your book. So you can absolutely pull your book from distribution at any time you wish. Um, you can purchase your print ready files uh, if they're not already included for 250 bones. Um, and that allows you to then take those books and upload them elsewhere. Um, there can be some little uh, quirks with, for example, you would need a new ISBN number to publish under a different imprint um, with certain distributors. So you may have to make some small tweaks to your book, maybe get some new ISBN numbers. But if you have a deal with a traditional publisher, they'll be able to help you with all that. So uh, short answer is yes, that's, uh, that's not a problem. We can definitely help you with that. All right, Charlene, to order my own books, will it be faster to go through Amazon? Yeah, probably it will be like, but it depends on how many books you're looking to order. So when you're looking at making a custom one off order of books, larger quantity, lower cost, longer time frame. If you're looking to order a few books, like 10 or less, you can just order those directly from retailers. Um, because the retailers, that's the like sort of streamlined print on demand process that's designed to work quick, quickly for low volumes of books. And you also earn royalties off of those books as well. Whereas if you order a custom volume of books, you don't make any royalties. Um, that's, we're just, you're just paying for the book straight up. And then that's your responsibility to make sure you price them high enough to earn a profit um, when you eventually sell them. So yeah, if you're ordering a small amount of books, it's probably quicker to order them off of Amazon for sure. Okay, last call, last call for questions, last call for questions. Um, we're gonna wrap up in just a minute if I don't get another uh, if I don't get another one in just a moment. Thank you everybody for um, joining in the chat and uh, giving me that positive reinforcement. That makes me feel nice. Um, it's not all about me though; it's all about you. So keep an eye out on your inbox. You'll be sent a replay link to watch this webinar again and again and again as needed. Um, remember when your book is distributed at that point, you are sent an email notifying you of it as a video and a link to some help resources. So uh, I'm a visual learner. When I listen to webinars, I typically need to follow up and do some reading on my own. If any of you are like that, we have lots of written resources as well and some, some recorded videos as well that you can watch on the process. Um, and hey, we're here, we're here to help. Um, and uh, awesome. And thanks, Annette. I'm, I'm so glad that uh, questions you didn't even know you had got answered. That's wonderful. Um, awesome, Julie. I'm so glad that, uh, yeah, self-publishing is a steep learning curve. You bet, you bet it is. <laughs> There's so many endless details, endless details. I mean, that's, uh, I think that's what I like about it, but uh, I'm, I think I'm in the minority. I your average person doesn't love details, I think. Uh, so good for you, Julie. Good for you. That's amazing. So I'm going to close out our webinar now. I can see uh, the viewers are dropping off now. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks so much for your great questions. Stay tuned for more webinars if you're interested. And um, yeah, best of luck, luck with your newly published books as they make their way out into the world. What an exciting time. What an exciting time. So thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.